Hello YouTube world, well, right now you guys are gonna catch me looking at the little screen on my camera because I wanna make sure that I am focused because I already recorded this video like a million times but hopefully this is a good one and I wanted to share a story with you guys that happened to me like yesterday night and I was so scared of my life, I feared for my life, I'm not, I'm not lying, okay, well I'm not lying but whatever. It was about 11 at night. And I might use some Sp um, Spanish words in here because I don't know. I feel like they explain what I'm trying to say better than if I use if I do use them in English. But if you have a, any questions or you want me to translate, just comment. And I'll translate you. I'll write you back in the comment. But okay, well, so it was like okay. Let me let's go back. Let's throw it back to last night. Okay, so yesterday night I was. It was like 11 at night. And I was, you know what, minding my own business on my phone, on my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever. I was just laying in bed and it was really hot. And I was like, oh, it's so hot, I just want to take a shower right now. Because um, I couldn't go to bed because, I mean, when it's really hot, I can't go to bed. So I was like, okay, then I'll go take a shower, shower, and then with cold water, and then hopefully, like, go to bed afterwards. So I went with those intentions to get in the shower. It was a usually regular night, and I was going back. I was going inside my shower. I was, like, doing my whole before shower routine, I mean, take the clothes off whatever everybody does hopefully you do you shower naked but and I don't know if you guys can hear the noise or not but my mom has like it's babysitting right now with my little cousins so hopefully you guys don't let the noise distract you but whatever and like I said I was usually like in my shower going to take a shower and I didn't see nothing weird so I was like okay then I'll just get inside or whatever you know shampoo my hair and I was shampooing my hair minding my own business thinking my life away thinking about what I'm doing today thinking about what I'm doing tomorrow my life whatever and next thing you know, I just like I was ha I had the shampoo in my head, and it's uh I don't know I don't know what it's called, but it like it irritates my eyes if I do get it inside my eyes. So I was like I, I opened them like that, and then I saw like a little black spot on the because my bathroom shower it's like a box like a white and it's like plastic. And then I went like then I saw a little black thing, but I was like I guess I got it in my eye because I I'm looking like at spots whatever you know. And then I kept showering my the shampoo off, then I opened my eyes and it was this big spider. It was like a big spider climbing up the shower wall. I got so scared. I was naked. I was like, I can't take a shoe and like kill it. I can't do any there's nothing that I would be able to kill that spider with. And I was really scared, but I was like, okay then whatever. Um don't like don't panic, it's not it's not gonna bite you, whatever. I was like, well if I do shower again, what if like it comes down and like it bites me or whatever? I don't wanna go to the hospital at eleven at night. It's like who wants to do that? Not me. So I was like, okay, in my shower, it's those type of showers that you get it and you could like detach it from the wall. So I took that shower th head off and then I tried squirting the um, spider with um, hot water. I was like, okay, well hopefully the hot water kills the spider so it could like go down the hole from the bathtub. And I just kept spraying that thing with water. I kept spraying it and it would always be like really, really, it would hold on to the wall. I was like, okay, how am I gonna kill this? I, I can't touch it with my hand. I'm not gonna touch it. So I put like the power shower thing like the highest and then I kept just pointing at it and it started falling down slowly from the wall. I was like, well, if it goes all the way, like, really fast, it's gonna be, like, on my feet. Like, it's gonna be really, really scared. Like, I'm fucking scared right now at this point. So I just kept going down, and I, I didn't really look down to, like, see where the spider was gonna fall. I just kept on thinking, you have to take that shit off the wall. You have to, like, take it down, take it down. So I kept spraying that thing with water. Next thing you know, I looked down, and there was, like, my sponge, like, my body sponge. It was, like, a blue. It's, uh, it's blue, and it has, like, lots of little cracks in between. But I was, like, I, I was not thinking ahead of time. I was, like, well, if that thing keeps sliding down the way it's sliding down, it's going to fall, like, in my sponge. So I kept, like, t making the spider, like, do, like, a turn with the water. And next thing you know, the spider just falls down, and it fell exactly on the sponges where I have my sponges. I was like, oh, what am I going to share my body with? It's like, I don't want to go through that. What if I know some spiders don't jump? I know, I mean, there's some that jump, but I don't think wet spiders will be able to jump. And it's like, what if I, like, do try, like, going through that shower thing? And, like, what if it jumps at me and it bites me? Or, like, what if I'm just holding the spider? Like, just the thought of me, like, touching a spider, like, it kills me. Like, I know they're so small, but, like, I don't know. I feel like they could do so much pain, especially the black widows. And because we usually don't find any spiders inside my house, it would be like only the garage, whatever. But it was so weird to see a spider in my bathroom. And I was like, okay, then whatever, you know, I'll just try to get the spider off. But I don't know, I was just like scared that it was going to bite me, especially because I was naked. I just felt like weak. I felt like I didn't have no protection against the spider. 
So I was like, whatever, I'm not gonna use it. I just kept getting it wet. It's like, if I don't see that spider, hopefully it drowns in there. I just kept pointing the water for like a few minutes, and hopefully the spider is dead. And I haven't even checked if the spider is still there or not, but I'll probably do it later. Probably just throw it away, go to Walmart, buy a new one. But my second option, because I to scrub my body, I mean my parents and my, I don't know, my parents or my grandparents, they're big believers in like rocks as a, like be able to take all the dead skin cells. And I was like, okay, then I guess I'll just use the rock. And it's like a volcano rock, so it's like the really, really rough ones. And it was really big. And I was like, okay, then I guess I'll just use that. And I was using that rock to like rub my skin off. And it hurts so much. It feels like they're literally like scratching, like they're scratching you everywhere. And, they, and especially your elbows, it hurt it so much. And it was burning. I don't know if it was my body wash, but it usually doesn't burn with the regular, um, what are, what are the sponges that I use? But with the rocket, I'm guessing it was really hurting my skin. And it was burning. I got out of the shower, my skin was red. Every single part, like you can see, like it literally looked like scratches. Like the demons came out and like scratched me. Hopefully they don't come out because I went to see that movie, the uh, uh, what is it, Oc Oculus? I don't know, it's the mirror movie. It was a really good movie. It had its parts where it's really scary, but it's like lots of mind games with the uh, actors. So I would suggest you guys go watch it. But like I said, hopefully the demons don't come. It was like, no, Dios Padre Nuestro. But, yes, that was my story, my crazy story yesterday in the shower. And I was really panicking and hopefully it doesn't happen again, but whatever. And I don't know if you guys noticed a stain or not, but I actually bought this shirt yesterday at Forever 21. And you guys want to know the reason for this stain? McDonald's. I was eating McDonald's. And it was last night actually, I bought that last night. And I bought the shirt last night and I used to do it better, so I guess I... Did get a little stain in here. And I also bought this little jean, not jean vest. This is like a little army jacket at Forever 21. Got it on sale. Oh yeah. And it was this, the shirt was like $15 and this was like $20. Original price $34. Got a big discount. And I like it. I mean, I'm going to wear it like with the, like a gray sweater or whatever. Oh my, let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys what happened to me at a Forever 21 store at the Camarillo Outlets. Okay, well. I mean, I don't, first of all, I don't want to drag, I don't want to be bragging that, oh, I'm famous, or I'm this, because I know, I mean, I don't know if I'm not, I just like posting YouTube, YouTube videos because I like talking on the camera and I like getting you guys feedback and everything, so hopefully you guys don't think that I'm leading towards like fame because I don't, I'm not going for that here posting videos. Okay, so I was shopping at Forever 21, you know what, my mom best, I was actually looking for this store, I had to go to LA to get this shirt, and I can't find it here in Camarillo, so I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just like go see if there's at the Glendale, Galleria, Mall, whatever, and then we went, and at the Camarillo outlets, I was like, you know what, looking for this shirt, and then I asked one of the sales associates, I was like, hey, do you have, have you guys seen this shirt, and she's like, yeah, we do have it, and then she just kept looking at me, and I was like, oh. And then she's like, I can't ask you a question. I was like, yeah, what's wrong? And then she's like, uh, do you post videos on YouTube? And I was like, yeah. And then she's like, oh my God, that's so crazy. I watch them. And I was like, oh my God, really? He's like, yes, I watch your videos. And I was like, oh, like when this, this is the second time it happens to me, but I'm so sorry because I want to apologize ahead of time. I don't know what to say and I get really really nervous and really like I start getting like an anxiety attack like I was like oh my god like what do I say? Do I say thank you? Do I give a hug? Do I ask what video she liked or I don't know what to say because I'm not used to it and she asked me and then she calls her co-workers like hey you guys look come here he's like look he posts his videos on YouTube. I was like oh my god I was like I don't know what to do that's like I just like kept smiling like oh hi you know. But I was really, 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 really shy. So if you guys do see me around or if you guys like do see me in person or randomly see me at a store or whatever, just say hi because, I mean, don't be shy to say hi. I'm not stuck up. And people say I do look stuck up in person. I give like the bitch face. But I don't think I do. But like I said, if you guys do see me, say hi and... I don't know, like, give me a hug or something. And, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you in my story with the spider. And I'm actually thinking of giving you guys a nickname. I don't know if you guys like turtles or not. I don't know, I feel like Arturo, Arturo, turtles, it somehow relates to each other. So I wanted to call you guys turtles. I don't know if you guys like that nickname or not. Because other people that I do watch on YouTube, they all have, like, their little nicknames for their subscribers. And I feel like giving you guys one so I could be, like, more attached to you guys. Oh, saliva. <laughs> but, okay, I was thinking of giving you guys turtles. 
I like calling you guys cuties. I don't know. I don't know. Even though I haven't seen you guys in person, I do go through my subscription friends, and there's like lots of good looking people. So it's like, oh, okay, I just call them like cuties or, yeah, I like cuties. Or what about babes? My babes. I don't know. You guys be the judge. So it'd be cuties, babes, or turtles. Make sure you comment one of those in the description box. And I actually do, since I've been getting out my Snapchat, I've been getting a lot of Snapchats from you guys. And I get really, really happy and excited when you guys talk to me because I feel like I'm communicating with you guys. And it makes me feel more attached with you guys. So if you guys do have a Snapchat or if you guys want to Snapchat me or whatever, make sure you guys do it. I always reply. And so my Snapchat name is Arturo Churro, so it's right here. And my Instagram name is Arturo underscore Churro, right here. And my Twitter name is Arturo Says Hello. Uh, yeah, that's it. So make sure you guys follow me on those. And I love you guys so much. And hopefully you guys are having a really good day or a really good night. And I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye.